Hey Leute, hier sind wir beim nächsten Part bei Edith Finch und wir schauen mal weiter, was wir hier noch finden. Über wen wir was rausfinden, über wen nicht. Ich kann nicht vorstellen, dass meine Mutter nie Poetry schreibt und jetzt. Über Gus. Ein Poem für Gus, der immer gesagt hat, dass die Wedding eine schlechte Idee war. Unser Vater hat uns als Kinder, zumindest nicht sehr schwierig. Before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Ich geil gemacht mit der Steuerung und alles. So. Ah. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. Uh huh. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power, but all my father said to this was, Make the music louder. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. Good time. She never talked about him, but so young and strong, I was. if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. <sighs> Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Sanjay. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Louis was born a year later.
When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Okay. And to see kids in the house again. Levis. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. I want to fast. Lang gehe ich nach oben. Oh ne, ich bleib unten. Da oben geht's dann doch noch ziemlich weit. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Finch in the magic paintbrush. Mom spent months searching for my brother, then she sealed the doors. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until mom got him a job at the cannery. 